Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you a nice easy way of providing remote support or getting remote support on your Windows 10 PC using Windows Quick Assist. Keep watching to find out how to do it. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to use the inbuilt tool in Windows 10, which is called Quick Assist, which will allow you to either remotely support or remotely accept support from a trusted person over the internet onto your computer. So we've all been there, haven't we? Someone's phoned you up or has emailed you or asked you a question, how do I do this? And you're on the phone or whatever, and you're saying, well, no, if you click on this, then type that, then do this, and everything will work. And they're going through it, and they're like, well, I can't find that. It's not there. Well this is gonna solve your problem. So using Microsoft Quick Assist, I'm gonna go through now and show you how to easily rectify a problem on a PC. Now in this particular instance, I'll be giving the support to Kath's computer. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is to initiate this remote support. So all you need to do in the search bar, type in Quick Assist, or if you start typing Quick, it should come up anyway. So we go into the Quick Assist app. So this will open up the Quick Assist software and you can choose to either get assistance or you can assist another person. So we want to assist Kath in her Adobe Premiere work. So let's click on assist another person. So now what you need to do is sign in with your Microsoft account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, if you've got two factor authentication on your computer, which uh, you really should have, then you should have your mobile phone or whatever device asking you if it's okay to connect. So send a notification to approve the sign-in and I approve. So I'm gonna click on that on my phone and then it'll say connect in. So now we've got our information and it gives you a security code which will expire in 10 minutes. So at this point you can send that code however you want to, even if you can call them up, email them, text message, however you want to do it, uh, but it does have to be done within 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that and then send it in an email over to CAF. So now we're on CAF's machine and we're waiting for the email to come in. So in the meantime, we'll get Quick Assist going. So type in Quick and Quick Assist will come up. And we want to get assistance. So we can open up our email and get our code. And all you do is type in the six digit code. Your code will be different. And on this option now, this is highlighted to share screen. So we can click on share screen. And then you should get the connecting screen. So now on my computer, I've got the option to take full control or I can just view the screen. So if it's a slightly more um, wary person, you can choose just view screen so they can see what's going on, but can't actually take control. But we want to take full control. So I'm going to click on continue. And then on CAF's computer, it should come up with a message saying, do you authorize this? Which we're going to click on yes. And then it should start connecting. And there we go, we're in Quick Assist, so I'm gonna maximize my window. So now at the moment, as you can see, there's a very little lag between my mouse and actually Kaf's mouse on her screen. So this is currently on my PC, so I can see Kaf's Adobe Premiere window. And the problem that Kaf was having with Adobe Premiere was the uh, blue timeline wasn't actually snapping to parts on the timeline or on, on the actual footage. So all she needs to do is to click on the magnet icon, which I'll do for her. And there we go, that's all we needed to do. So that is the remote support done. Uh, once we've done that, you can click on up at the top here, you've got all these options and you've got the details. So if you want to, you can select a different monitor, you can annotate if you wanted to, so you can write things on the screen. Uh, you can full screen it to make it actual size. You can toggle the instruction channels. And another cool thing you can do is you can actually restart the PC. So if you're doing some diagnosis and you want to restart to make sure that it's actually done what it's supposed to, you can click on restart and the actual connection will automatically renegotiate itself once the computer is restarted, which is a pretty neat feature. Uh, also, you can go to Task Manager. So you can run the Task Manager and see what programs are running. So again, if you're doing some virus removal or a malware kind of removal, that kind of stuff, you can click on Task Manager and see what tasks are actually running on the remote computer. Also as well, say for instance, this is a long-winded job and you are uh, kind of want to go for a coffee or a toilet break, you can click on the pause button or when you're done, you can click on end. But we are actually done here, so all we need to do now is click on end. 
This will close down the screen sharing and that is it, we're done. So now what we can do is close down the app on both computers and we're completely done. That is it, that is how simple it can be. Literally all you need is your Microsoft account to sign in and to share the six figure code with your coworker, friend, relative, granny, grandpa, whatever you wanna do, it's super, super simple. Okay, so there you go. A very, very nice, easy and inbuilt tool within Windows, the quick assist feature to actually give support or get support with your Windows 10 problems. And Lord knows there's enough of them. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, give the video a like and don't forget to click on the subscribe icon and the chime icon so you'll be notified of all future video releases. So that pretty much wraps things up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.